So today in this video, we shall learn to find the GCF or HCF of 18 and 27. And here we shall find out the GCF or HCF by two methods. First one by prime factorization method and second one by division method. So let's find out GCF of HCF of 18 and 27 by prime factorization method. So while finding out GCF of HCF by prime factorization method, first of all you have to find out the prime factors of given numbers. So your numbers are 18 and 27. So let's find out the prime factors of 18. So it is 2 times 9 means 18, like as 3 times 3 means 9 and 3 times 1 means 3. In the same way, we shall find out the prime factors of 27. So it is 3 times 9 means 27, like as 3 times 3 means 9 and 3 times 1 means 3. So as you look here, we have found out the prime factors of 18 and 27. So from these prime factors, so we can write 18 is equal to, from here it is 2 times 3 times 3. In the same way, we can write 27 is equal to, from here it is 3 times 3 times 3. So we have written the prime factors of 18 and 27. So now we find out the common factors in these prime factors. So here is 3 and here is also 3. So 3 is our first common factor. Like as here is 3 and here is also 3. So again 3 is our common factor. And here is 2 and here is 3 which are not common factor. So as you know we are finding out here GCF or HCF. So GCF or HCF is the product of all common factors only. So we have common factors are 3 and 3. So now we have to find out the product of these common factors. So it is 3 times 3 means 9. So 9 is the product of all these common factors. Therefore 9 is the GCF of HCF of 18 and 27. So in this way we can find out GCF of HCF by prime factorization method. So now our second method is by division method. So let's find out GCF of HCF of 18 and 27 by division method. So while finding out GCF and HCF of division method, we have to divide the greater number which is 27 with the lesser number which is 18. So 18 times 1 means it is 18 and 27 minus 18 means it is 9. So here the remainder comes 9. When the remainder comes, then you have to again divide the divisor with remainder. So 9 divides 18 means 9 times 2 means it is 18. So here at last we have no remainder. So at last we have no remainder and the divisor 9 is taking here no remainder. So while finding out GCF or HCF by division method, first of all you have to divide the greater number with the lesser number and while dividing here 18 times 1 means 18 and comes 9 as remainder. And when the remainder comes, then again you have to divide the divisor with remainder and keep dividing until there is no remainder at last. So while dividing here comes 9 remainder, so again you have divided the divisor with 9 and 9 times 2 means 18, so it is 0 means no remainder. So at this point came no remainder and it was taken out by 9. So 9 becomes the GCF of HCF means the divisor containing no remainder at last becomes the GCF of HCF. Therefore we can write GCF of HCF is equal to 9. So in this way we can find out GCF of HCF by division method. So this much for today and if you have any question for math then just comment your question in a comment below and we shall provide a video solution of your question. So thank you.